Ready, set, go. Hello, welcome. Welcome to another album reaction. First one of 2023. Fun fact about this particular video. This is my second attempt at doing it. I tried to uh, react to the album that I chose uh, before the end of the before the end of 2022. Um, but when I was wh while I was doing so, I got like maybe one or two songs into it and just sort of had a, a nervous, like sort of anxiety attack, and uh, was just like, you know what? Maybe this is not the best time to try and do this because uh you may not not know this but sometimes making content is tiring sometimes it takes a lot out of you but i'm feeling better now uh and i really wanted to get this made because the album that we are reacting to is the first uh request for a reaction that i have gotten uh, on this channel. We are listening to How It Used to Feel by Phoebe Ryan. Uh, I had never heard of her uh, until the album was requested. Uh, she's been likened to um, to Ash as well as Lizzie McGalpine, two of whom are definitely my two of my favorite pop artists at the moment. So must be pretty pretty promising i don't remember what any of these songs sounded like so like even the two that i listened to um so we're just gonna go straight into it we got we got 13 tracks uh album is a total of 40 about 40 minutes long ish 40 minutes and then some um so yeah, uh, the, the, the blurb on Genius in an article from Billboard, uh, Phoebe said that there's, there had been, uh, some intense heartbreak. This album, this album came out in the summer of 2020, so it would have been made around 2019-ish. Um, there's been some intense heartbreak and I've written about that, but there are also songs that just touch on loving myself. They're all songs about love, but maybe not like you'd think, which is a tried and true um, sort of overarching theme for an album is love in all its, all its forms. Um, it works as long as you know what to do with it. And let's let's find out if if Phoebe here, Ms. Ryan, uh, knew what to do with it. First song is I C I M Y, which I'm pretty sure stands for In Case I Miss You. It could mean iced cakes in my yurt. Um, but you know. Statistically, it's probably it's probably gonna be in case I miss you. So let's uh, let's let's find out. Let's find out for ourselves what this mysterious uh, acronym stands for. Okay. I like so a couple things I like. Um, I I like the the role that the guitar is playing in this. I like that it's kind of it's. Um, I like the quick little triplet um, chugging along there, um, and those open chords really like they open things up 
really nicely. They they give a nice sense of sort of anticipation that we're building up to something, and I hope that the build is worth it. Um, yeah. So far, so good. I also like the... I like the drum rhythms here. Okay. There it is. There it is. Wow. I'm also getting some really strong Carly Rae Jepsen vibes from this, which is cool. Um, good good vibes to to have similarities to. I do wish that chorus hit a little bit bigger. I wish it hit a little bit harder because like I said, those the the verse feels like it's building up to something, especially that pre-chorus, and it and then it just kinda like it falls just short um of I think what it could be. Nice, nice little higher harmony in there. That was pretty. Ooh. Nice, that's a strong, strong way to end that. Um, yeah, that was cool. That was nice. You know, it's nice. Uh, pretty, pretty clear. Uh, message of like you know maybe you've ended a relationship with someone now you're like well what 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 do i do when the feeling comes back of lo like wanting to get back together with someone if you even if you know that you shouldn't like how do you deal with those with those feelings um and uh one of the nice things that i find about songwriting is you don't necessarily need to answer that question sometimes i like to but not all the time yeah that was fine i th i do think that the chorus was unfortunately kind of the weakest part of that song i think the verses are are the strongest part um just like melody wise chorus is pretty pretty repetitive but you know Rep repetitive is is catchy so can't falter for that um moving on to talk to me i'll talk to you tell tell, tell me what you want to talk about you can't just say talk to me and then just expect me to know exactly what to talk about like pick a subject Ooh. that's whoa that's hello. What do you do with the feelings you have? Okay. So pull me a glass. I already know I like the guitar. It's very like country blues. Nice drop out there. Nice. See this kind of this chorus where it's it's not like hitting hard, but they've already established that it's like a it's a fairly laid back song in general, and so the chorus is the chorus is doing a good job of really digging into that getting into that groove, um, maybe adding a couple extra pieces instrumentally, but like the the chorus is there to kind of highlight the best parts of the song, right? Because that's, that's because it's kind of the part that's gonna get repeated 
a couple of times through the song, generally, um, you want that chorus to be the most memorable part of the song. If not always, sometimes the bridge is the most memorable part of the song, or maybe if you've got like a instrumental solo, then you got that. Um, but generally the chorus is the thing that often ends up getting stuck in people's heads. And so you want that part to be the sort of best and strongest representation uh, of the song as a whole. It's not necessarily fair to the rest of the song, but that's often how it works. I like the ooze. It almost sounds like it's a theremin. It might be vocals, but it might it might be a theremin. I would love it if it was. If you don't know, a theremin is the weird like electronic instrument where you just wave your hand your hands and it kind of changes pitch based on where your hands are in relation to the sort of uh setup thing, the instrument. Um and it kind of makes the ooze. <laughs> That kind of sound. That's exactly how it sounds, in fact. And now those those guitar notes are getting left to kind of hang and, and sustain through, which is a nice way of um, changing that up in verse two. I'm getting the Ash vibes now. I'm picking up on those now. Um, particularly from from the Ray album, I'm, I'm definitely hearing the similarities. I like the little, uh, there's a little sound that they put in there that's like just four quick like 16th notes. It's like a, just like a bu -bu -bu -bu. Um, If you listen closely, you'll hear it and it it's a nice little bit of percussion that uh, kind of keeps things in a, at a nice pace. There, yeah. Cool. That was fun. I liked that one. That one definitely has gotten me interested and engaged. Um, nice. Which one? What? There's a specific Ash song. It's a little, a little bit another man's jeans. Um, maybe a little bit of San Jose. I can't quite remember how San Jose taught sounded um but definitely a little bit of another man's jeans um a little bit emotional yeah yeah i'm i'm hearing it now that was nice okay lyrically um uh chorus goes come and sit come sit down and talk to me but don't say nothing you don't mean i want to know what's on your mind even if it hurts that's fine i let you lie for way too long the truth what I've been waiting on. I want to know what's on your mind, even if it hurts, that's fine. Interesting. So it's just this conversation of, like, acknowledging that you've kind of let both parties kind of build up some resentment and just let it be okay that you don't actually say what you mean, you don't actually speak your mind for the sake of civility or the sake of staying together or whatever this relationship is. Maybe it's just a friendship. Um, and this song is just like, now nah, let's get it all out in the open. Even if it hurts, let's just say what we actually feel. Say what we actually need to say. Uh, which is good. It's good to have conversations like those. Moving on to... Try it sober. 
um, which is a fascinating uh, proposal. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Travel the world, stay up all night, and do the drugs that you still like. I. So this is this is a personal thing. So I'm not I'm not saying this is an objectively bad thing, but hearing those like stick the drumstick clicks and then hearing a very clearly electronic kick sound that hits a bad button in my brain. If you're gonna have real drumsticks clicking together, I want to hear a real kick drum. I know that maybe doesn't necessarily sound like it makes sense. Like maybe it's not a huge deal to you. It's not. It's not actually a huge deal. It's this is me being nitpicky, but it is something that bothers me. If you're gonna make it sound like you've got a band, have a real drum kit. If you're watching Phoebe, Phoebe this, is, this is going directly to you. All right. If you're gonna make it sound like you got a drum kit, have a real drum kit. I know you got something one in there somewhere in that studio or wherever you recorded this. Make it happen. I don't I stay at home and watch TV and think of who I used to be when I'm alone. I like the guitar though. Every morning Sounds... waking up I'm feeling like I was asleep. Just going, going, going. Not sure if I'm better now. At least I got my sanity. Oh. I'm going, 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 but I. Ooh. All right, Phoebe. Whatever I said about the the drumsticks and the and the and the kick drum. Don't, don't worry about all that. You're doing great. You're dropping a halftime triplet breakdown in the freaking chorus. You're you're doing fine. Keep keep doing what you're doing. The, the you're really hitting two of my favorite things. I believe in a previous video I talked about things that I am a sucker for, two of which were halftime breakdowns and triplets. And you just did both at the same time. So, you're officially on my good books. Carry on as you were. I like that uh, her that the the guitar is playing the melody along with her vocals. It it's it fits nicely. Nice harmonies. That sounds like a real hi hat. That sounds those. I mean, the the snare still sounds like just a clap, which is fine. You can have a clap. It sounds it, it works just fine. But that sounded like a real hi hat. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe you fooled me. Maybe you're a bit of a trickster there, Feedy. Uh, but that was the, the that was suddenly sounding like a real drum kit for for a hot minute there. Nicely done. <laughs> I love these background vocals. I never said I won't have fun. I just nice. try it sober. 
That was a good sounding last strum there. You felt you felt all of the strings in that one. Oh, that was lovely. These these sounds are getting better and better. As we're going in, I really hope this is a nicely uh, evenly distributed album. Nothing more disappointing than a front-loaded album, as as they say. Um, but if, they, if she keeps up like this, I'll be thoroughly impressed by the end. Um, let's take a look at these words. First one. Used to travel the world, stay up all night, do the drugs I used to like, but now I don't. Stay home and watch TV and think of who I used to be when I'm alone. Uh, chorus, I want to know if this is real now that I'm getting older, because I want to know how it used to feel. I just want to try it sober. I don't believe the days are done, but maybe the end is closer. I never said I won't have fun. I just want to try it sober. Which is a very mature sentiment. This whole thing of like she's she's gotten this far. Um, maybe she's felt like she needs to, you know, have some sort of substance altering her state in order to enjoy herself. And maybe she's gotten that far, feeling fine, doing well enough, but now she's getting older and she doesn't want she wants to know how she feels as just herself. Herself with nothing modifying her experience. She just wants to experience life as it is, as she is. Which is really good. Um, it's a good good thing to, to keep in practice. And you know, like if, if you, like, if you're among safe and good company where you you feel secure to get a little drunk or get a little high. If you can do that safely, great, do that every now and then. Um, but it's good to know that you can still enjoy yourself and enjoy life um, sober. So good on you, Phoebe. Moving on to see myself. What, 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 how's she going to feel about seeing herself? What does she see in herself? Is she seeing herself to the door? What does that mean? Who the frick knows? Some of these questions are going to get answered, but probably not all of them. It's a bit loud. Interesting. It's a very interesting sound. got a lot of different sounds happening here she's got a lot happening in the percussion section i like it but i'm interested to see how she uh kicks it up in a, no a notch in the, in the in the rest of the song i wish that i could see myself the way my friends do okay. the way i want to i mm. try to take a photograph but it's not the same Nice. Oh. That is a, that it that's the definite definition of a bob. Like when you think of like what well, if if you were to say oh this song is a bob to someone that doesn't know what that means and they're like oh what, is, what does it mean like what does a bob sound like? This this chorus that's what a bop sounds like. The uh, the snapping noises, what they're using as a snare, basically. Um, it's got the same, like, texture, like the same sort of staggered snapping 
as uh, what they use in Billie Eilish's Bad Guy. Um, it's used to a different effect. Like, in Bad Guy, it's more of, like, sort of almost like a gross, like, kind of... You feel it more like a, like, sort of bone-cracking sort of texture to it. To this, it's just sort of filling out the sound more. Um, there's not as much cracking. It's not, like, it's not as prolonged of a, of a sound. But it's still the same sort of staggered multiple snaps um, to make it like a prolonged snare function. That's more of a single snap, but it's still multiple snaps like layered on themselves. Okay. Ooh, she's building it. Bringing in the band. There you go. Nice. Ah, oh, that was nice. That was a fun little song. I really enjoyed that. Not as much as I enjoyed Try It Sober, but that was that was a good, solid song. Um, pretty straightforward uh, message. She wishes she could see herself in the eyes of someone else. She wants a new a new perspective on on herself to you know realize her worth and realize that she's she's a cooler person uh, than she may think think that she is that's uh that's my read of that one um as far as i can tell so let's move on to exist that's a that's a that's a very vague verb it's a thing that we all do hopefully if you're watching this and you don't exist uh explain yourself in the comments below if you're able, please. I'll kiss you in a crowded room. Right okay. here in this crowded room. I just want them to see it. I can hardly believe it. Cause I kissed a lot of frogs in my past on the path to you. Mr. Worth the way. You come through you stop the pain. This reminds me of um This reminds me a lot of Selena Gomez's newer album. Um, rare. Yeah, getting the same vibes from this. Are gone, gone, gone. Nice. Ooh, okay. Nice. Very chill vibes the whole way through here. Ooh. Oh. Landing on some weird notes there. Okay. Guitar's having fun. Nice. That was a... That's a cheeky little out of nowhere guitar solo there. Cool. Chill vibes pretty, like mostly the same throughout. Um, yeah, that, that guitar solo was a, was a welcome entry. Uh, what do we got here lyrics wise? Uh, da, 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 won't ask you where you've been or what took you so long. My worries are gone, gone, long gone. Baby, I'll give you all of this. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is exist. Yeah. Verse two, it's like nothing that I've felt before, even though we ain't met before. Kind of like where it's going. You're out there somewhere, I know it. Looking in somebody's eyes and you're wondering where I am. Well, honey, take a peek. I was the victim of a losing streak, but now you'll love me forever, and it's my greatest endeavor to be everything you want 
if you want till the day we die. Okay, so it's kind of, you know, fantasizing about that, that ideal person that's going to eventually come along one day. Uh, and you just, you just want to skip all of the parts of your life until you meet that person, right? You just want to, as... As, uh, as as AJR puts it, get to the good part, you know? You're just like, I'll, I'll, I'll put in the work to make sure that I'm a good partner. All you need to do is show up. Just just be around, like, ex like exist, like actually be a person that I can interact with, right? Which, I get that, been there. So, moving on to little piece um prediction the piece the the thing that the little piece is from is perhaps her heart that's gonna be my guess Ooh, we're getting a little lo-fi here okay been here for a minute I won't let you forget it. Okay. I think now could be the time you bounce or get wrapped up tight in it. Cause I hate being lonely. And you I like the I me. like the bass they're yeah. using in here. Aha! I, I was correct. Let's all just take a moment and acknowledge that I was correct. Get done that. Carrying on. Let me know how it feels. I can't be more specific. If you're up or down or in between, you know I forgive it. Cause if you're throwing this away, Ooh. I don't want it anyway. Cause I will give it all away. She's got a she's got a cool like um pitch shifted um like lower harmony undergoing her undergoing her vocals this whole time and it sounds really cool. It's it's literally just like her the same vocal track, but it's been shifted down a couple tones. Um and it sounds really, really cool. A lot a lot of artists do that and I I think it's a pretty cool effect. Yeah, you can really hear it in the bridge here. Yeah, the, the lower part is doing the, if you're throwing this away. That's one of the rare times where I've actually, like, tried to replicate a melody in an album, and I get it kind of right. Ain't that nuts? Take a little piece, let me know. If you want to go, I'll go hard. But if you gotta go, I will understand. Okay. Well, as much of a chill jam as that was, that is in fact a sad song. Uh, it's basically her being like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna break my heart or take the keep the little piece of it that I gave you and just leave with it, just, then it's fine. Just go, just go do it, commit to the choice, make it happen. I'll be fine. She might not be fine, but that's what she's saying in the song. So you gotta take her word for it, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a ripping off the band-aid kind of song, which is fine, is fair. Uh, nice. Moving to Ring, which is in fact a song title on the, on the Selena Gomez album. Neither here nor there. You were walking in the bar. I 
Sorry, I'm just thinking about that the the Iron Maiden shirt line. I don't want to I don't want to like judge a book by its cover. But fascinating that that she might be a fan of of Iron Maiden. I'm just I'm I just don't hear it. Maybe maybe in those earlier tracks where she's got the heavier guitar, but interesting. Didn't expect that from her. Or maybe she just has a shirt and doesn't actually listen to Iron Maiden. That's fine, too. Maybe it's a, just a really cool shirt. You're allowed to have cool shirts, even if they're bands that, they're, that you don't listen to. Don't, don't listen to the gatekeeping metalheads. You're doing fine. Just have the t-shirt. Like the t-shirt. Keep doing you. Felt like someone stabbed me with an arrow through my heart. Some things never change. Okay. Is it She's taking her time with this one. Now to say. No, don't you dare. But Ooh. I Okay. Ooh. I like the drowned out drums. It see it sounds like they're becoming they're kind of coming further into the foreground as I'm talking here, but I like I like that effect of kind of like drowning them out for a bit and then bringing them in clearer. We were gonna have each other till death do us Maybe not. Hmm. I mean, it might be, it might not be, I don't know, you move on from people, I don't like, not to make, nothing against Phoebe, but relationships end and then you find, you kind of find a, a new normal. Maybe it's strange for a bit, but people, people move on. No, don't you dare. I'm having I'm having a real hard time connecting with this song because like I don't know people can choose the people that they want to be with maybe you're a little bit maybe you're a little you're allowed to be a little bitter about it but like don't tell them not to be in love with the person that they fall in love with even if they don't know that they're in love with like let let people live their life you know? Let people make mistakes as well. Um, at a certain point, some of that's just out of your control. And you gotta be okay with that. You gotta let your friends make their own choices. I like the I like the drum track on this one though. It's very like high impact. Uh, kind of feeling to it, which which makes sense. It's a very emotional song, so uh, the percussion is is fitting well with the emotion of the song. What what things are is she referring to that don't change? What maybe I'll I'll take a look through the lyrics again and find out what she might be referring to. But what what things are are you is she citing that never changed to justify her her frustration at this this new relationship? Because I feel like that's 
relevant and important information for uh, the justification of these of these lyrics. Okay, but what, BB? What doesn't change? Let's try and find out if, if she says anything about that. There's only two verses in this song. So let's see here. You were walking in the park. I remember last Sunday you were wearing my old favorite Iron Maiden shirt. So happy in your arms. Yeah, she was looking perfect. Felt like someone stabbed me with an arrow through my heart. Is this, this is just about her seeing her ex with someone else? like in a new happy relationship if this is like a cheating situation that's one thing but uh, second verse doesn't make it much clearer it just says damn it's so hard when your life is like a movie and you're just an extra watching her become the star and maybe I'm dumb but I always thought someday we were gonna have each other till death to his part that's fair like, I get that. To a certain extent, these these emotions are valid. It sucks to be reminded of a relationship that didn't go the way you wanted it to. But for your sake, and the, for the sake of the person you were in love with, you gotta just let that shit go and let them be happy and live the rest of their life. You just need to do that. Or else you're just gonna end up sad and, and bitter. And that doesn't make you a better person. In fact, it does the opposite effect, usually. And sometimes you're just not, sometimes you're just not the main character in a story. You know? It's, that's, that's also a hard thing to internalize is sometimes you're just not what something is about. Sometimes it is not about you. Sometimes it's about these other two people that seem to be very happy together and it's not your place to say that they're making a wrong choice. Even if they are making a wrong choice, even if that new relationship also falls apart, it's not your place to say one way or the other. All right? Don't, don't be stupid out there, people. Move, move, move on from your relationships. It helps. It helps in the long run quite a bit. We're moving on to Fade. Well, it's not that I don't love you. Oh. Okay. I just love you too much. Okay. What do you mean? To keep this thing going. Okay. So I'm giving Okay, but she's all that you wanted. Right. Who is she? And you're settling down. Is he? He's already settling down. But I've always been trouble and I know it. Okay, what about so that? I'm bowing out. Bowing out of what? What are you bowing she out of? Me under the rug. Maybe they did. Maybe they already have. Should uh, that seems a bit harsh, but... I won't blame you at all. Okay. It's what I want for you, babe. Good, I guess. I make it really easy to forget. Okay. And when I'm gone, you can pretend we never met. I don't think that's necessary. Maybe if I loved you less, I'd find a way to stay. But I can't, okay. so I'll just fade. Sometimes that's what you got to do. I'll crawl to the shadows. Okay. I'll turn into dust. That also seems a bit unnecessary. If that makes you happy, I'll do it. I don't know why I'll that would make him. It, I'll do it for us. There's not there's not an us anymore. Just burn the letters I wrote. That's that seems a bit far. My clothes off the cliff. Just give them to charity. Just
Oh, good for you, I guess. I'm sorry. This is this is rubbing me the wrong way. This is the this just feels like a like a like a continuation of the same narrative from Ring. And maybe that is. Maybe she's doing like a like a two or three part story here, which is great. Good, cool, cool device in a in an album. But this is all just such self pitying for someone that is clearly that clearly has moved on and now she's like just allowing this real this old relationship to take up way too much real estate in her mind and so she's making a big deal out of the part where both people have moved on like if like I'm I don't think it makes sense to, like, entirely try to wipe your memory of the person that you dated after after the relationship ends. I don't think that's helpful. In fact, I think it's good to remember how a relationship went so that you remember the what worked and what didn't work and things like that. It's good to remember how you felt about a relationship to a certain extent but like this is all this is feeling very like self-flagellating and it's rubbing me the wrong way again unnecessary Sure, yeah, you do that. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. You'll make it really easy letting go? This is not making it easy. This whole song is not making it easy. It's just not. It's not. Writing... Writing a song about it. Well, maybe that... Maybe this whole song is her way of getting everything off of her chest so that she doesn't actually get into this mindset because I mean I, I hope that's what it what it did for her but like come on get off the <laughs> who's Bert there's a little in, there's a little annotation on on the line about Bert. This song's outro features a cameo by Phoebe's pet parakeet, Bert. That's great. That's 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 the one redeeming thing about this song, which is has been mid at best. I feel bad because this is the first album that someone that has enjoyed my videos has suggested to me, and I am just tearing these two songs apart. I didn't really tear Ring apart, I, I had some criticisms, but Fade, I don't like this song. I don't like it. I'm sorry. May, I've, I've really liked the first half-ish of this album so far. It's really, it's been really charming, but Fade just hit the wrong buttons. And it's maybe because like I have a I've I've seen like a good couple friends who just linger on a relation on an ended relationship for way too long and I've seen what it does to them and it makes them miser more miserable than they need to be and it makes them like it sounds mean to say, but it makes them a real downer to hang out with because it's all if they fix on they fixate on it and you can't talk about anything else until they've moved on from it. But if they're not gonna move on from it, then you just kinda keep they keep talking themselves in circles and you can give them advice and hope to God that they follow it, but not really feel like they will. So those are my thoughts. We're gonna move on. I'm not going to dwell more on the lyrics of this one. We're moving on to fantasy. Hopefully this is a healthy fantasy. It's just a fantasy. That's good. It's just a fantasy. I'm seeing colors in my mind. Ooh. 
I like the kind of rolls that they're doing up to the up to the uh, the snare there. That's a cool. That's a nice touch. Nice little texture. <laughs> Why? Why would the guy just say a dope? I don't hate it, but why? Why? At least she's aware of it. Okay. Okay, I, I'm gonna save my, I have a theory regarding these, these, this song in the past two, uh, that I'm gonna talk about at the end of the song, but there's, I'm seeing, I'm find, seeing a common thread that I think might help me stomach this part of the album a little bit better. Oh. I'm really glad that she built this song on this specific rhythm because it's really fun and very just like a good chill vibe. I think that's the first time in this video that I've used the word vibe. You can correct me in the comments or editing Connor can correct me uh, in the video if I've used it previously, but I don't think I've used the word, the word vibe up until now, which I'm pretty proud of. Cool. Okay, so my theory is we've got this one verse, uh, verse two. I think your phone is dead again, because when I write, you never read it. I've made a monster in my head, and all these lies is what I feed it. So there, she's brought in this idea of obsession, of putting all of this thought and fixation into something that she knows is not going to happen or she, that she knows is not worth her time or, men, or mental or emotional energy. And I wonder if that's kind of what she's going into with Ring and Fade and, and Fantasy. I'm wondering if that's kind of that chunk of the album is, if that is what is that about. If so, then Fade is a very interesting part of that arc. Um, just going fully into that sort of self-delusion um, aspect of it. Um, because this song is, like, she's aware of the fact that she's making a lot out of nothing, right? She's making a big deal out of something that is not nearly as big of a deal to anyone else, right? Um... And so if that's, if, if that's kind of what we're supposed to take away from this song, we're hearing about this after having already heard Fade and Ring, with her, which are both songs where she's making a big deal out of something that is not a big deal to anyone else, but it lacks the self-awareness that there is, is in fantasy. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe it does. Maybe that's what she was going for. Maybe it's not. Uh, but that's the theory that makes me like this album more. So I'm going to go with it for now. We're going to move on to the next track called Henny. This is only 58 seconds long. So let's see just how much she can pack into slightly less than a minute. Responsible, mm. cause I was so dysfunctional 
I like that line. It worries me how much it didn't before. Which is obviously she's compacted the line. Like the less compact version of that line is it worries me how much it didn't worry me before. Right? Like she is now as concerned as she should have always been about how like about how she's been functioning or not functioning. Up on the floor, I tried to turn to something new. It's not the same, so what's the use? It's just the truth, because of you I can't drink any, any more, any, any more, any, any more, any. Mm. Oh. That's it. That's just about how she can't, uh, she can't drink a certain type of alcohol anymore. Um, because, I don't know, maybe it reminds her too much of someone. I've been there. I know, I know that. Everyone's, everyone's got a, got a certain, well, not everyone, but many people have a certain drink. That has just been ruined for them because it reminds them too much of someone. So, get that. Nice. For for only a, for not even a minute long, that was a that was a cool song. Liked it. Moving right along to just like me. Oh. Okay. Nice. We got sort of like a, not quite a gallop, but it's got that sort of like chugging forward, like triplet momentum uh, sort of feeling to it, which I like. That you're somewhere out there just doing the same. Okay. I know that I love you, it's starting to sink in. All right, what are you gonna do about it? But one of us better start taking the blame. Mm -hmm. Cause we're birds of a feather. We fuck up together. Nice. Took okay. So long to realize. You drink too much and say there's no one else. Damn. All right, we getting real self ref we getting real introspective here. Oh boy, oh boy. We uh we making some self realizations over here. Nice. I also also this this is giving um very like folklore era Taylor Swift vibes. Uh, which I'm neither here nor there on. I'm just saying that's what I'm hearing. Going life with a broken heart. I only it's the melody for me. It's the... Just... It's the way that she finishes her lines. It's like, going through life with a broken heart. It's, it's, there's something about those inflections that reminds me a lot of Taylor Swift. Whoever's man in the shaker is absolutely tearing it up. Can we keep it going knowing that it's so wrong. Yeah, you just fight. Yeah, you just fight. Ooh. Yeah, you just fight. They're they're like fading in and out with some like dis distorted gu guitar. It's a really nice touch. Cool. 
so far, I'm gonna say this album has been very front loaded. I still think that those first five or six songs, I would say, are still the best part of this album. But uh, the person that recommended this album um, did say that the final track is their is one of their favorite songs. So I'll hold on to my final judgments until the end. Uh, and for now, let's take a look at these lyrics. Um, this is very clearly about sort of a dysfunctional on and on again, off again sort of relationship where both people are not necessarily making the most healthy choices in life. And for both of them, that manifests in them getting together with the other person, uh, which is a definitely real situation. Um, that definitely happens. And it's unfortunate. It's tragic. And it takes a lot for either party to, like, do anything about it. Because you do end up having this sort of consistent comfort person. It, you know, it's this thing of, like, they're familiar, but you know it's unhealthy. It's sort of, like, becomes an addiction. Um, and like an addiction, it takes takes a, a lot of mental and emotional fortitude uh, to get yourself away from it um, and requires a lot of grace and patience uh, for yourself but also it's it's for your own good because a relationship like this is can that can do a lot of damage long term so moving on to a Thousand Ways, the second last track on the album. Um, let's find out what the ways are referring to and why there's a thousand of them. One drink, one night, one evening. One fight, one stays, one's leaving. Okay. One's breaking down, one's sleeping. One's having trouble breathing. Oh no. It's stupid to think someone will care for you always, be okay. there for you all the time. Cause one day you'll blink, and that's when you learn it the hard way. I think it's safe to say there's a thousand ways to lose your mind. We're back to the triplets and the halftime. She's brought it back around to the good stuff. We love to see it, and by see it, I mean hear it. Aw, oh, she's brought it back to my favorite things. Two hearts, one hurts, that's funny. Ooh. Two I like that she's keeping the stomp and the clap. To care for one is plenty. Who cares? Not me. I'm petty. Hmm. Ooh. Those, those synth hits are... Nice touch right there. Are you coming in? Nice. Well done. Nice little vocal there. Cool. Okay, so this album does seem to have, like, certain uh, chapters, it would seem. Um, 
there's the phase of trying to be happy on your own. You know, try it sober in case I miss you. Of just trying to learn how to be happy alone. Um, but then moving into that, like, obsessing over a past relationship. Um, and the unhealthiness of that. Um, it would seem as though right now, this sort of later bit has been uh, about those sort of the relationships you keep coming back to um, and you know that it's a mistake to come back to it but you can't help yourself um, which is what just like me was about that's kind of what Henny was touching on and that's seen that seems to be uh, what this is about where in this in, in this song, she seems to be kind of opening it up and just sort of saying, like, there's a lot of ways that you can mess up. Uh, but for me, or for Phoebe, uh, the most accessible one, the easiest way to screw up your life is to get back with this person, right? It's easy, but it's also damaging, and she knows both of those things which is cool it's a, it's a mature place to take this to um, she's I'm glad that she's acknowledging this piece of it so that's nice I like that song I like the I like the chorus she knows what I like I just wish she would deliver on it a little more often but we got one more track the real wild ones. And before I get into it, um, I want to directly call out or uh, shout out the person that recommended this album to me. Ah, yes, Tyler Kelto. Thank you for recommending this album to me. I hope you value my thoughts on it. I hope I hope you like this review, even if I have you know, varying feelings on, on the songs. Um, so the one I, song on the album called Fade, which has one of the best sliding guitars I've heard. Yes. Yeah. That was, that was a good, that was a nice piece of it. I agree. That was, that was nice. So thanks, Tyler. Hope you enjoy this last reaction to, uh, the real wild ones. Oh. Ricky was a sweetheart, but I was just another toy. Okay, we we're telling a story. Johnny drove fast cars, but he was showing off for the boys. Cocaine Kenny had a really bad habit. It was few, cocaine. Kenny's bad bad habit was that he picked his his fingernails. Um, yeah, he didn't really have any other bad habits. Yeah, we were just a ticking bomb. But if you ask me about it, I would tell you there ain't nothing wrong. Nice. People think I'm crazy when I think I'm having fun with the real wild ones, the real wild ones. People think I'm crazy, but I think I'm having fun. Nice. Tommy was a rock star, but he was from another world. Another Ooh, we getting the we getting the strings in here. Susie says she loved me, but she says that to all the I can tell she's going for a big finish. She's trying to end this album with a bang, and I appreciate it. Oh. 
All right, nice little instrumental break here. just leaves it hanging and then we hear the piano close interesting what a way to end it kind of left it on what feels almost like a cliffhanger interesting there the there's a line that kind of grabbed me like right at the top of the chorus i love the real wild ones the kind you gotta leave before the real damage is done so what, that makes me wonder like what her relationship to these real wild ones is. Like, is this song actually like admonishing that group of, that group of people or is this, because there's also a part where she ends a chorus where she says, I think I'm having fun. Am I really having fun? So I wonder if she is finally getting to this point where she's telling her she's telling herself that she is having fun with this group of people, um, but she can only spend so much time around them uh, before it becomes kind of dangerous. Uh, and now she's actually starting to question, is she even having fun in that crowd anymore? Or does, or does she just feel like she's having fun because she feels crazy or she seems crazy? Like she, she feels like she's tapped into this sort of carefree party version of herself. Um, but now she's no longer sure if that's actually how she has fun, which is really fair. I get that. It's good to question these things. It's good to question what makes you feel good compared to uh, how the people around you try to feel good and whether that works for you. Um, especially when it comes to friend groups. Sometimes you gotta figure out like the kind of people that you want to be around and what what they spend their time doing and if you if you are compatible with that it doesn't make them bad people it doesn't make you a bad person for not being compatible with it it's just a matter of like what is what's a healthy what 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 is a healthy friend group for you to be in uh which i think is a very valuable question to ask maybe i'm way off Maybe that's not what this song is all about at all. Maybe she is... Maybe she, this is just an ode to her crazy friends. Maybe maybe it's still that. Maybe it's both. Both. Um, but that's my takeaway. And that is the end of how it used to feel. Which, taking another look at the... Uh, at the album. Also, I commend this album for not having a titular track. Uh, Ray also, the, the new Ash album also, does, well, wait, no. Ray had Ray, Ray's theme, which is just a quick uh, instrumental. I don't think that counts. So, along with Ray, uh, this album does not have just like a song named after it, the album title or vice versa uh, which I I think that is a good thing I think it's nice to be intentional about what you name your album um, so yeah that was a nice album some real some real bangers on that um, I really liked a thousand ways I really liked talk to me and try it sober those are probably my favorite ones on there. Yeah, got got some some interesting 
things to say on, on heartbreak and self-love and everything in between. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching if you made it through this whole thing. Um, if you have an album that you want to hear my thoughts on, uh, if you want to put... <laughs> If you want to put your favorite music at risk of me tearing the lyrics apart uh, because I find something wrong with how relationships are or like breakups are portrayed if, if you want to if you want to put a favorite album on the chop chopping block let me know in the comments uh, and I'd be happy to listen to it um, I have my own list of albums that are waiting to be listened to um if you haven't already i would recommend checking out my uh my albums of 2022 tier list where i go through all of the albums that i listened to or didn't listen to from the past year and rank them as to how much i liked them it's it's not an objective critique of the albums uh, I'm not a music producer, so I don't feel like I have a place to do that. It's just the music that I that I like the most from the last year. Check it out. And uh, yeah, other than that, you can like the video if, if you liked it. Helps me out a lot. Um, leave your thoughts. Um, if you've got your own takes on these songs, I would love to hear them or read them. And if you haven't subscribed or rung the bell, those are things you could do if you want. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. I'll see you later.